goods at campfire breakfast. Bacon, eggs, toast, all done on the open campfire. Doesn't get much better, I don't reckon. Oh, it's rolling out. It's a great spot here. It's just the other side of Talbotville. The actual town, Talbotville camp, campgrounds just a bit further down the road. It's only KSO so down the road. But this is a great spot here, right on the uh, Crooked River. Cooked up brekkie there this morning. Even had time for a spot of tennis on the grass courts of rural Talbotville. <laughs> uh, good having a bit of a hit there. And um, But now it's going to move on. Uh, do a couple more tracks for today. And going to do uh, Conway track first up and then come down the uh, other way around. We're going to go up Randall Track and then come down Conway. This will be a great day. Cracking weather, fantastic day ahead. Okay, so here's the start of Randall's track now. This is again one of the probably one of the steeper tracks in this area here. Good fun track. Expected probably the, uh, not to be too bad a condition, but um, this is a good fun track and magnificent views from the top when we get up there. But I'll show you that when we arrive. When we go past, um, as I mentioned yesterday, the that bypass track that gets around those two last two river crossings, I'll show you where it comes out just up here, just in case you've ever got to use it one day. But this is a good hill. That gear low range, just got rear locker in. Just cruising up here, just nicely running nice low tire pressures, plenty of traction, but there's a lot of rock and stone in this sort of track, so generally get uh, plenty of traction in it when she's nice and dry like this. Just went past it there, so there you go, so that's where the um the other side of that bypass track comes out, comes on the Randall track here, so I'll either continue up and or continue back down. But that's it, the bypass track, well worth knowing about just in case those last two crossings are just a little bit too deep to get through. Yeah, Randall's track and right from the get-go right from the bottom it's just constant uphill fantastic fun track but uh yeah it's a good nick though after again you know, a lot of these tracks around here have been dozed after the fires were on here earlier on the year but uh i'll come back again don't worry about that this is just a good fun track well worth putting in your books and come and check out Randall's track just keeps on going all the way from the bottom all the way to the top just uphill all the way I'm just doing this all the way up in set gear low range, so just depending on your gear ratios, how you're going, but you, know, you might have to do it in first gear, but see how you go. But uh, set gear low range is working well with me, as I said many times before. Reduction gears in this certainly help, and just crawling up here and loads of traction. It's just a good fun track, really good. out there we're well, just approaching the top here now one of the lookout points the helipads up here and we'll pull up up here have <laughs> a look at this 
nothing but blue sky out the window. It's an amazing view. That's a good fun track to start the day off. So we'll get up here, we'll pull up and uh, show you this fantastic view because it is something else. Have a look at that. <laughs> oh yeah, that is great. That's not a bad view, looking straight up the hill to that track up there. So they go pretty steep these tracks around here, especially this one. It's, um, you know, it's taking time, no rush. I'm in third gear at the moment, but I'm going to use this washout up here. And I'll drop it back in a second. Get up and over the top, down the other side, back in a second. And cruise away up to top and take the low range. Now, that's the thing with these washouts, you know, because you hold a fair bit of momentum while you're going up the certain section of the truck, and as you reach these washouts, you know, you want to get just as you crest over the top, you want to back it off just a bit. Otherwise, if you hold the same speed and same momentum, you could get airborne, and that's the last thing you want, go brake and stuff. So get to the top, back off as you go down the other side, and then go again. Now we won't worry about stopping here, but that's just another lookout. Looks the same thing, but that one back there is probably the pick of them. Magnificent views, so we'll continue on. Right, I'm just reaching the junction here of um, top of Conway here. Um, so we're going to turn down Conway here and make our way down the bottom. And this is another one of the steep tracks again for this area. Look at that view straight out the window. Right across to the pinnacles. Magnificent. Now you see all these washouts here in the track. You know these are here for a very good reason. You know they're formed up by the dozers when the dozers come through and maintain the tracks. The reason why they're there for, particularly on these steep downhill tracks, is when it heavily rains. Instead of the rain running all the way from top to bottom, as it would do if the these washouts weren't here so these these washouts they deflect the water off so the rain runs off off the side of the track and into the bush and that way doesn't erode the track away um, the rain doesn't get the that's running down the track doesn't get any sort of speed momentum up so be able to erode those tracks away and keeps them in good condition just to have a look at that view straight across the pinnacle see the fire tower way at the top up there this track just keep going down so for this section coming down here, I'm just doing it in second gear low range, just feathering the brakes. First gear's probably a bit too low for, for me with this section here, but when we get down a bit further where it really drops off, that's where I'll go back to first gear low range. Um, be no brakes going down there, won't need to use them. So it's those sections there where you just gotta be really careful with these steep sections, but at the moment, we'll just cruise along second gear low range, just feathering the brakes as I say, just every now and then, just to slow me down a bit. It won't be long, we'll be back in the first gear for sure. This is where I'll go back to first gear low range. Have a look at that straight down there. This amazing track, great view. In first gear, just walk it all the way down. In my case, we're using no brakes at all coming down here because the first gear in this is just pretty insanely low. Works an absolute treat, particularly in steep downhill tracks like this one. But just look at that view out there. Down to the farmland down there on the Wanagata River. How good is the mighty Victorian high country? Just look at that. <laughs> uh, just take your time as you come down here because the view is just amazing. Well worth checking it out, looking at it. Yeah, it's feathering that accelerator for me just to keep it going. Not touching those brakes at all. Oh, that is just amazing out there. Have a look at that track just disappearing way down there in the distance. How good's that view out there, mate? Pretty impressive, isn't it? <laughs> 
Absolutely stunning. It's been handy having the little handheld. Backups for backups, mate. You just never know when the main radio is going to um, yeah, not work anymore. And this one's filling the void very nicely. It's clear, that's for sure. I haven't had any dropouts. It's even helped your singing voice a couple of times, I've heard. <laughs> Oh, turn it up, mate. I oh, know I can't sing in certain places anyway. <laughs> mate, you come down there with an automatic. How have you, um, have you found it with um, your brakes being able to so, you know, slow down coming down that hill? Yeah, I think the skill is just to put it in low range in the first gear and, uh, and just try to stay off the accelerator and stay off the brake. And uh, if I need to, I just got to feather it a little bit on the way down. Yeah, that's the only key, isn't it? You know, if you just feather them as you come down and don't jam on those brakes and try and stay off them as much as you can so they don't get too hot. These uh, automatics, unfortunately, standard, don't uh, don't slow down as well as a manual, especially yours with reduction gears. You're going too slow. It takes you a week and a half to get down there, <laughs> but uh, for me, uh, I catch up a little bit quicker than, uh, than normal, so uh, you just got to be a little bit more careful. But there are lock-up kits and you can go and get to um, sort that automatic out and they sort of hold a bit better as you're going down hills. Hey, go and have a chat with Rod over there at Wholesale Automatics, he'll sort you out, mate. We are going to exchange some tennis lessons for a uh, whole new kit. <laughs> I'm not sure if Rod be up for tennis, but you just never know, he might be up for a deal like that. <laughs> Do anything, I've watched his car for him for a year. <laughs> Just coming now to the bottom of Conway Track down here now, we're down here on the Wanagata River now. Normally I'd drive across the Wanagata River with this crossing here, but probably not a good idea after coming down such a steep incline for such a long period of time, because everything's so hot. Your diffs, brakes, not that I've been on my brakes at all, but in your case you might be on your brakes a lot coming down through there. So everything gets really hot, and, um, gearbox and all those sort of things. So the last thing you want to do is come down a really steep incline like this, particularly on a warm day as well, and plunge all your running gear and brakes and everything else straight into a cold river system, because that way you can warp your brakes and it buggers all your seals up and your diffs and sucks water inside your diffs and then rusts them out and that sort of stuff. So when you're coming down a big steep hill like this for, you know, for a fair period of time, uh, it's always good to, before you go crossing any sort of river system, just pull over on the side of the track and let everything cool down and just enjoy the serenity for where you are and while everything's cooling down. But there's the Wanagata River there. So I'm going to go across the bridge. We'll pull up on the other side over there and make a bit of a plan for here. But um, yeah, you definitely don't go dropping in the cold river systems after long downhill sections like that. Okay, but we'll have a shot. Oh yeah, no worries. Got a turning circle like a mini miner. <laughs> Not. Uh, look at that. Up in the shade down here and make a bit of a plan. Want and get a river. Well, it's been a sort of a top morning, that's for sure. We've um, decided that we're going to uh, back out of here, head back into Dargo, and uh, air up, put some air back in the tyres from there, and then we're going to go back to where this trip started from, back to Italian flat for the night and uh, kick back on the Dargo River. That sounds like a great idea, I reckon. Might even stop in at the local at Dargo Hotel. Might have one or two there before we head off. And then go and get some firewood. Final spot, the Dargo River there on Tain Flat. Kick back for the rest of the day. Righto, Dargo Town, here we come.
Just got a short run now back into the town of Dargo here, so we're going to pull over here and um, use the general store and get some air back in the tyres. Um, and then find somewhere to camp tonight down at Italian Flat. So it's just been a magnificent day, great weekend, but it's not over just yet. General store. The general store is worth dropping into. They've got everything going on here from good pies, <laughs> coffees, basic general supplies. If you ever need anything, well, we're dropping Dargo General Store. Have a chat with those guys. Well, what a fantastic couple of days that's been cruising around some tracks around the Dargo area. I've um, done some new ones and some that I haven't done before. A couple of new ones there being Boundary Track and, and Rollish Creek Track. Haven't done those before. Fantastic tracks, great little loop. Um, and some van great vantage points and viewpoints from those couple of tracks. And then camping up last night down there near Talbotville on the Crooked River. Absolutely fantastic spot. And then finishing up today just with a couple of tracks. But a couple of good ones for this area. Ben Randall's and Conway Track. Make sure you check those out. So there you go guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video. And look forward to seeing you guys on another one of Tim Bates' four-wheel drive adventures. <laughs>